just tell him to make sure his hands are clean. Wash them off. Okay. The right hand sanitizer. Just okay. Like okay. Then you're going to have your table set up like this. Then we are going to make sure we're unclamped. This is clamped. In is clamped. Upward and open is unclamped. So you clamp it before you attach the other thing to it? Well, you clamp you clamp it after you're done with your treatment. Okay. And then in the morning, he'll unclamp it. Okay, got it. And then it. clamp it when you're done. Got it. Okay? Okay. All right, we're going to take our alcohol wipe. We're going to wipe this blue cap off about 15 to 20 little wipes. Make sure it's wiped good. Okay. Then we're going to take our saline. That's right there. Sorry. First one. First one. And it says sodium chloride on it. You're going to see a little bitty air bubble at the top. What you can do is pull back and then push that air up because okay. you don't want to put that in your line. This is a closed system, which means he's going to have to match up and push that in because it's spring loaded and twist. Okay. And then when you're ready to pump, pump this in, you're just going to pump it like a little pulse. Okay. If there okay. is pain. No, it's just cold. Okay. If there's pain, then I want him to probably stop and then call us and look at the, we'll look at the site first. Okay. And then if he notices something strange, call us. Okay. Okay. All right. And then you're just going to pump about, you can pump five mLs in there. So take this off. Okay. Now. We're ready to go to the elastomeric. This will go down in about over an hour, okay? okay. Um, and this middle portion in there, you see that white rod in there? Uh -huh. That will not go down, that's saline. And it's just in this pump to keep it open. Okay. Okay? This is already primed. Your name is Petrina Pierce, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, you just wanna check and make sure that that's the right dose, name. Take this little tape off, okay. This is already primed, so you're good. Okay. If you haven't touched this blue tip, then you're good. But if you can't remember, or if you did, I want him to wipe, wipe that down. Just wipe it again. Yes. Then you're just gonna twist this little cap off, this tubing. Again, close spring system, push it in and twist. Okay. Okay, you're ready to give you this drug. It's going now? Nope. You've got to unclamp this drug. Okay. Same as a clamp on your arm. Okay. So unclamp it. You're rolling. 430. This should go down in about an hour. Okay. Well, that, that's going to shrink? This, this will shrink. This will okay. start to shrink. Yep. Okay. Then let's say after the hour's done, mm -hmm. then you're just going to pull this off. Just uh, disconnect it. Disconnect it from here. Okay. Okay. Then you're also going, going to, do that to again. flush it again with the saline. Okay. And then you want to end with this heparin. What's that one? This is a, just enough blood thinner to keep this line open to where it doesn't clot off, to where we have to come in every day and stick you again. You only have to be hopefully stuck once. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, and he needs to flush this one. Again, it has an air bubble in it. So you want to make sure to pull that out. Push and that push up. up. Yep. Okay. And after your infusion is complete, you're going to give it the saline and then the heparin. And then this is an antibacterial cap. Okay. This is called a clamp and it's on this mat, teaching mat. Okay. Once you've done your antibiotic, you've done your saline, and then you've finished with your heparin, okay. you're ready to go back to your line, clamp it. And then un and then disconnect. And then put it. the clamp, yes, on it. Okay. Then you're done for the day. Okay. Hey to Flash your family, it's your girl Patra, and I just finished having my first steroid treatment. I gotta actually wear this stuff here for five days. Um until the treatment is over, or I don't know, the therapy treatment, whatever. The infusions are over, and hold on, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit. Say hi, Zoe. Hi, Flashy family. Is Zoe going to Flashy? And she's down here playing Minecraft. She just booted Bobby off of. What was he playing? Um, What's the thing called? Fortnite. Fortnite, right? Yeah, and you. Love she she loved. Why you love wearing this dress? 
Okay, I think she likes it because it's fluffy. Yeah, it's fluffy and comfy. Okay. <laughs> Zilla's running around somewhere around here. And... Zilla! What's up? They're play Why are you playing with this? No, thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. No. Hey, little girl. Stop it. Stop. Thank you. Give it to me. Listen, I'm not going to fight with you. Yeah, she's trying to fight me. No. No. That's dangerous. You can't play with that. You can't play with that, Zilla. Guys, this is what I have to deal with. I just took thumbtacks away from her. She's trying to go to the hospital. I'm not trying to do that. So y'all see we had a... Well, y'all saw one part of the weekend. Yeah, it was a pretty cool house. We have a few... We have a little bit of cleaning up to do. And she's gonna keep screaming because I'm not gonna go give it back to her. She wants to play with thumbtacks. That's dangerous. Wait, let me see. Say hi. Say hi, Zoe Gela. You gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? You don't want to say hi? Why? Hi. Aww. You okay? Hmm. Love you. Come. You can come upstairs with me? Come. Come. Okay. I'm going to pick you up. Okay, we're going to go upstairs. So she came upstairs to come be on the airbed. Her bed is there, but she wants to be on the airbed. Okay. What is that? So a lime. Oh. <laughs> Slime? Well, don't get it on anything. She's watching TV. Everybody's in their own world. Let's see what these two are doing. What are y'all doing? Huh? Watching YouTube. Oh. What are you doing, Bobby? Animal Crossing. So he went from one game to the next. <laughs> He's like, Fortnite, no more. Let's do something else. I'll be talking to you guys by myself. Oh, wait. This about what I'm my sickness. <laughs> so, guys, <sighs> I'm getting all settled to sit down and talk to you. So, I basically had some an infusion just now of some steroids, y'all. So how the nurse instructed me on how to put it together. Um, basically, this stays in here for the five days that I'm gonna be having them in. So, um, this is my first time doing the steroid treatment for my MS and so far, my hands, before the treatment, I feel like my body was already trying to get better because steroids basically speeds up the recovery process in any situation, which is usually, it's typically why it's not fair for athletes to use it, because they're recovering faster, which means they're gonna perform better than other players, right? I don't know if this is the same kind of steroid that they use, but <clears throat> it's that's what it's for. It's supposed to help me get better faster. And I can see where my body was already trying to get better because um, on Friday, I wasn't able to like do certain things with my fingers but, which, and today's Tuesday, so like four days later, I can do certain things, like I can do this, I can do this, because I'm looking at it, it's easy for me to do it. If I don't look, see, finger going wherever it wants to go, and let's see, I can't, I really can't feel it. Whatever the case is, I can actually use my finger now to point and do stuff, which is the first thing that kind of went before it got bad to where I couldn't write. I still can't write, because if I do write, it looks like chicken scratch, or it looks like a, a someone who's just learning how to write wrote it. Um, 
I guess I'm dealing with this thing one day at a time. Y'all seen the previous videos. I was around a lot of family this weekend. So it, it helps to be around a lot of people. Not necessarily a lot, you need to be around good company. Not just a lot, because you don't want just to be around just crowd. You want to be around people who love and care for you and you know people who can keep your spirits up which my spirits are still up now that they're gone because I, I still have the kids around so it's not bad as y'all can see they're all over the house no one's with me <laughs> so essentially i get to rest but um i guess i'm dealing with the diagnosis one day at a time and it's okay for me because i know that there's hope as far as it's not something you know when it first happened I thought you know oh my gosh my arm never gonna be able to write again but no it's not that that's not the case once I get better in other words once I recover from this flare-up is what they call it you guys aren't gonna be able to tell that, I, that anything's wrong with me until something hap until something happens again hopefully with treatment I can lessen the amount of flare-ups I get and I'm planning on possibly looking into holistic treatment because I, I'm i not a medicine person. I agree to do the steroids because I know that the steroids will help me as far as helping me recover faster because I've taken steroids for um, my breathing before. Y'all know I used to be congested all the time. I had post nasal drip bad. It caused me to have asthmatic bronchitis. So I've taken steroids to help with my breathing and that helps. So I figured this will help. I just want tomorrow morning I want to wake up and be like, oh my gosh, I can actually feel my fingers. Like this, I can see that it's touching, but I really can't feel it. And you know, I didn't show y'all when my fingers look crazy because it looked really crazy. I mean, like I couldn't control, like I'd be trying to do this and it would just feel really, really crazy and weird and look weird. And on top of that, I'm double jointed, so it looks even more crazy. Anywho, I'm just rambling. Oh, I've been meaning to tell y'all this. I did cupping. That's what this this mark is. You'll see in another video. You'll probably see this ugly red mark on my shoulder. It's on my arms too. So I did some acupuncture um, about a week ago. Yes, this video is late, but it's okay. So I did acupuncture last week and they also offered to do cupping at the same time. I've never done cupping before. If you've done cupping before, put your two cents in the comments. Let me know what y'all experience was. I did not expect to have a big old bruise on my shoulder, but the bruise doesn't hurt at all. I don't know if it helped with my MS or not, but the fact that my hands are getting you know, the mobility is improving in my hands or my ability to control my fingers and to possibly write. I think that if the cupping didn't work, I think the acupuncture will help. Before knowing my diagnosis, I did acupuncture when my feet would just go numb and it did minimize or lim lower the level of numbness that I felt, numbness and tingling in my feet. And the numbness, to, to explain to anybody who doesn't understand what it feels like, it feels like when your hand or your foot, when a body part falls asleep, right before you get the pins and needles feeling, that's the feeling I'm walking around with all the time in my, in my limbs, my hands, my feet. And um, my body was feeling like that. It feels a little bit better now. The, there's not really pain per se. There was like stiffness. And I think the stiffness would come when my body's extremely tired. Like if I feel tired or fatigued and I don't go to sleep, that's when like my whole back gets like super, super stiff and just like it does hurt, but it's not hurting. Hurting like, oh my gosh, I'm in pain and I need me some medicine for the pain. Not like that. It's just a really, really stiff back or shoulder from that. And I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be like that all the time. My feet, it feels like I'm walking on sand, not on sand on the beach. Like if someone poured sand on the tile floor or poured sand on the wood floor. So that's not a comfortable feeling. So I'm looking forward to the improvement in my um, symptoms and hopefully I'll be able to get back to posting for you guys soon. I really, I wanna get back to work. Hopefully this video will go up sooner than later. And you guys, thank you so much for your love and support. I want to thank everybody in my family, my friends who have reached out to me. Um, I love you all. I really appreciate y'all. We're going to get through this. God's got me. I'm going to be good.
I am. It's not something you can beat because it can't be cured. But, you know, I did my blood work recently, so I'm waiting on that to come back to see, make sure everything else is good in my body because you got to make sure you don't neglect that because if you neglect that, that's how some people end up getting, you know, illness, illnesses where they don't know, oh, where this where this come from or whatever. So if you have insurance, most people's in, most insurances give you your annual checkup included. You're already paying for the insurance. Go get your annual checkup for your full blood work, full body work or whatever. Just so that you can know and be aware of what's going on inside of you. Because if you're not aware of it, you can't slow it down, you can't stop it, you can't fix it. There's no way to intervene, period, point blank. You'll just be like, you'll just pass out one day and people are like, well, what's wrong with her? How did that happen? You know? So it's good to check that out. And then, of course, I'm going to be more on top of that now because I'm going to be taking medicines. And I don't want my kidneys to fail or all of a sudden one day I have liver disease and I don't know where it came from. Because, again, these medicines have side effects, which is why I want to do a holistic way. I want to try to find a holistic way to um, lower my um, flare-ups. Is that what you say? I don't know how to talk MS. If you know how to talk, MS, put your two cents in the comments. Tell me what am I supposed to say right now because I don't know what to say. But whatever. Lessen my flare-ups. Lower my flare-ups. Whatever. Y'all get the point. And that's all I think I have to say for right now. I'm waiting on Hubby to come home. He got four days off this weekend. He was able to, you know, hang out. And we didn't vlog a lot. But, I mean... I don't know, so much shit's going on in life. That's just, when you can spend some quality time with someone, you really value it. And not that I forgot about you guys, we didn't forget about you guys, but we're spending quality time with each other, with our family and our friends that we haven't done in a long time. And the vlogging, y'all seen a couple of videos, so it's not like we completely just didn't do any vlogging, we did vlog. But sometimes the fun is, is so much fun that we just can't vlog, you know. And with the music, it's copyright. Anyways, I'm going to go on and on forever. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. really appreciate y'all love and support. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there. Yes. Hit it. Right. What you waiting on? Hit the button. Go ahead and hit it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, that way you don't miss a video when we post one. And if you do have anyone who's never seen this video, any of our videos, go ahead and share it with your friends. Make sure you leave your two cents in the comments. Tell us what you think, if you have MS, if you had know anybody who have an MS. You should share it too, because there are people who have MS that you can't tell that they have it, because you won't be able to tell. Once I get better, nobody will be able to tell that I, something's wrong, or that something's going on. Make sure you put God first. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And we all say, too flashy. Hey. <laughs>